So what's up YouTube man? It's been a while. It really has, but you know, I got a lot of stuff going on and uh you know, it still doesn't deter me from watching the Eagles and see what's going on with them, of course. I mean <laughs> come on man, I'm flying it always. But uh yeah, I'm getting into the whole um you know, media broadcasting stuff like that and starting up a company and all of that so it keeps me busy but I mean hell I'm here in Charlotte so you know I was able to I want to cover my my last name but yeah I was part of the media at Panthers training camp and uh, you know it was fun it was a good experience but anyway um, man this past Monday watching the Eagles and Redskins Monday night game in and I'm not here to trash talk man I'm just excited about my team because it's it's been such a change from what we're used to as Eagles fans over the last 14 years you know this is something completely different and uh, it's I just man I'm excited especially after seeing the game Monday the only thing about the game on Monday though is that second half you know they they tended to you know slow up a little bit. They took their foot off the pedal a little bit. You know I I think that the Eagles Chip Kelly I think he's gonna learn from that man. You got to keep your foot on the pedal the whole game man because it was obvious that the Redskins weren't ready for the offense the way we were running it at the pace that we were running it. And I think what's even crazier is Chip Kelly says we can go faster man like. How's that possible? I don't know, but I don't know, man. I'm excited about this season, you know. And I, I, I honestly think, you know, if if we keep at the pace that we're going, um, the defense improves, which quite honestly impressed me a good amount, you know, on Monday. So. If the defense improves, because there's always room for improvement, and the offense improves, um, you know, I, I'm i not saying playoffs, I'm not saying division, I'm definitely not saying Super Bowl or anything of the sort, but watch out, man, we can make some noise. I, I'm confident about that. So, you know, San Diego's coming to town, so we'll... Uh, We'll see how that goes, man. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key for this team. Um, <laughs> man, I'm just, I'm just, God. And and, and the crazy thing is, once once Andy Reid was fired, and uh, I, I I was going through like the possible coaches that everybody was talking about, and I, you know, to be honest, Gus Bradley was my guy, man. I wanted Gus, Gus Bradley as the next Eagles head coach, man, some kind of bad, man, I, I really, really wanted him to be the next Eagles coach, and a distant second was Chip Kelly, a distant second, man, but because, you know, Gus Bradley, I, I liked his defensive background, his defensive mindset, I, you know, he would definitely shape up the defense, um, as, you know, looking at his uh, track record, what he did with Seattle's defense, so that that's that was my mindset behind getting wanting Gus Bradley but we ended up getting Chip Kelly wasn't completely excited or happy when it first uh, happened and when it was first announced um, but through time going through the OTAs the off season like just the whole off season you know he he gradually he grew on me you know and I and I liked him a little bit more and then training camp hit and then the preseason started and everything and you know he, he it it really peaked for me with him and then you know after the game monday man i i I'm, I'm happy to have him as our head coach man like seriously so i can't wait for the season to to you know play out and see what happens so um but like i said man at at the rate that they're looking in my eyes you know, barring any injuries, of course. Hopefully, Vic. My God, man. Hopefully, Vic stays healthy. That's the last thing we need. 
even though I'm very comfortable with Nick Foles, which some Eagles Eagles fans will you know argue that with me, but I'm comfortable with Nick Foles running the offense if he has to. He was very sufficient, I felt, in the preseason. So, you know, but we need Vic to be healthy. We need Vic to be in there, you know, running the offense. Um, so, barring any, you know, major injuries and, uh, you know, consistency, man. Building on Monday night. Build on what we did Monday night. And I think we'll be able to be in the hunt and make some noise. I think Monday night was a, a real eye opener around the NFL as far as Chip Kelly's offense and 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 the um yeah how, how we're doing, man. Because man, both of our tackles, Lane Johnson and Jason Peters, were lined out wide with the wide receivers on that one particular play. Man, we only had three down linemen, two guards and a center. That's crazy, man. So I'm you know. I'm expecting more stuff like that throughout the year from Chip Kelly. We'll see, man. We'll see. So, anyway, that's it, man. I, I just want to check in, man, and talk about the birds for for a minute. Um, yeah, so, peace. <laughs> Go birds, man. That's not going to change. <laughs>